Our Crestwood Coach Conversation brought to you by Wilson Custom Tree Service. We're with head coach Skip Eckhart. And uh, Skip, how weird was last Friday night for you? Well, been, you know, coaching 40 years and then playing at U and I and high school and all that. It's, that'd be one of the first Fridays for, uh, uh, yeah, very weird. Let's just put it like that. How'd you manage the week of practice and how did it uh, maybe uh, extend into this week? Uh, how do you structure practice knowing the fact that you weren't going to have a game to uh, get ready for? We didn't go as long, but we started, you know, getting on New Hampton scout man on Thursday. Normally Thursdays walk through, go through everything, sharpen it up, two minute old and stuff like that. Whereas we went to regular practice then Friday, did a little banging, not a lot, just enough to stay crisp. And then uh, got out there decent early. Guys went and had some pizza and went and watched so much with, watched uh, New Hampton play. Being the fact you got to see them in person uh, this week, as compared to uh, just seeing them on film, uh, what you what were you able to find out by watching a game in person, as compared to just watching a game on a computer? Nothing different since 1993. Since I was up here, and Coach Ferrick's been there for forever. They don't make mistakes. Coached well. They do things the right way. They're great tacklers. They're great blockers. It's no different. They might do different plays, but the basics of blocking and tackling are superb. You know, he's got good assistance, and he's been there for quite a while. Remember, I come up here in 93, he's already been there. So you expect greatness. I mean, you just, you just look at the new wrinkles and different things they do on splits and stuff as that, but it's no different than when he started there. Great coach team, and he does a great job. How'd your team uh, handle the whole situation? How'd, uh, how'd the first couple of days of practice this week uh, go? Uh, being the fact you didn't have a game last week, was it any different? Not really. Back to work, we give them Saturday and Sunday, you know, early Friday, get rested, get the always, and back to business on Monday. You know, we got homecoming in that, you know, and uh, get busy at what you got to get done. And this New Hampton team, uh, you mentioned uh, what they're all about, uh, what matchups uh, – how do you match up with them? Uh, what uh, concerns do you have uh, facing a team like New Hampton? Well, they got a good a good blocking, and they uh, offensively, anyway, we'll start with a hell of a quarterback, guys that can catch the ball, quick guys that can run, big old tough guys. Defense, like I said, they get after you, smack you in the mouth. They're not going to make mistakes, so you got to try to get a mismatch somewhere along the line if possible, but you got to be at the top of your game because, uh, like I said before, they do things the right way. And a couple of weeks ago in your last game, uh, you got your first victory of the season against North Fayette Valley. Uh, was that uh, – were you able to uh, inject uh, some confidence in your guys, knowing the fact that the work they're putting in uh, got rewarded in the uh, last game you were able to be played? They, right. They have confidence. They've seen the film. I uh, we should have scored many more times in different situations. But uh, we really emphasize red zone. Like it's, I guess I should have said that earlier. You know, you get 20 in, it's – Build for get all these yards, but you can all score don't mean jack. So we really emphasize short yardage, goal line, 20 and in, stuff such as that, because that's sometimes we forget about doing the little things. And I know you can talk about that in practice. Uh, how do you uh, take what you're doing in practice and uh, put it out on the game field on a Friday night, especially with those specific situations? Just you try to go through everything in practice, and then third and one. Fourth and two, first and 10 at the 15, and then get after it. Boom, boom, boom. We jump or something, we take it back. And that's we had one the other day that we jumped when we were down there. So that's where we shoot ourselves in the foot. Inexcusable. Offsides are inexcusable. You can get whooped once in a while because that's going to happen. Nobody does 100% blocking, tackling, catching, or doing a great job. You're going to screw up, do it at 100%, but that the kind of thing is inexcusable. You got to know how to count to one, two, or three. That would, all right, Coach, uh, we wish you uh, best of luck this week. Uh, keep your kids healthy, and hopefully it's a happy homecoming for your squad come Friday night. Best of luck to you. Well, thank you. Keep everybody healthy, and let's get this thing keep going. So, everyone, good luck and have fun. Crestwood Coach Conversation brought to you by Wilson Custom Tree Service.